Hello to all young people. We are in Merida, Yucatan, with architect Victor Cruz. Architect, thank you for having us. Thank you for visiting us. It is a pleasure to be with you to bring you the nest of taller Estilo Architectura. Uh, gives us a lot of satisfaction and it is a very interesting project. It's a very small house, a house that has 470 in front by 26 deep and then there in this in this 12 weeks. Then I, uh, my part is the first bay. It is a part that already existed and the rest of the house is completely new. What does it mean to him that we pass? Okay. Originally the house, so there were three other houses that mainly had the contextual value where it is not house with such high ceilings as is, is traditional in the houses of the center. But I mean, it has that good height and most probably outside. This is the result of subdivision. That is it's probably a much bigger house. And with time, it was subdivided until it was, until it was, until it was 27 meters. And this first part of the house, we decided to respect the style that already existed. The floors are the original floors, the walls are the, the, the original walls, even the constructive system of the roof is, is, is the same. Practically, this room, the only thing we did was to rehabilitate it and change the, um, and obviously change the carpentry, which was also more of a, more of a you know, carpentry rehabilitation. Most of the doors and windows that you see are the ones that that they were uh, originally. This is a new window because we wanted to integrate the new building, was to integrate a uh, little bit. So new building with this old part of the house. That is why we made this window that can be opened completely to frame the new building. To frame the new building. Excellent. How high are we here? In this part, it is about 3.2 meters. This is what is rescued. This is what is rescued. Yeah, this, that is what is 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 is, is that is what is rescued. Uh, in fact, we left uh, some of the constructive elements of the walls, which are mampaster which are traditional here in Yucatan, or these houses in the center. And the rest of the walls are finished with colored stucco. Stucco. We tried to intervene as little as possible. If you notice, the only perforation that was made in the ceiling is. Uh, for the fan and the rest is not the lighting is from lamps from pedestals and the rest all the lighting is from lamps from pedestals so they could touch the ceiling structure as little as possible as possible so that we touch the ceiling structure as little as possible yeah, it's a small area i mean that they that they use this is really a secondary house uh, it's a house of a young couple who live in the united states in a very cold place and in, in, in this in and in, in, in the future, they want it to be, well, now, now really their nest of escape from the cold season right here. Famous snowbirds, they will come and spend more time here, but for the moment, they use it only a few, a few months a year. It's a great detail to uncover the stone, but only in some points at a certain height. Uh, yes, somehow to even frame the room and to create the background, in this case for our, in this case for, for this piece of furniture for the television. It was just to try to expose the material but also to make it the part of the interior design of the, the room, the room the, the intervention really, when we started the work, all this was practically all built, except for the, was practically all that, except for the, was 
was practically built with the exception of the back part where we we will see in a while that there was a tree that was maintained but practically the whole house was built and it was very dark it, it had no ventilation and you know it's to create the different spaces and that allows us to create the different spaces that we need for a living the house even though it is very small felt as spacious as possible and that is why likewise the design the dates and everything the war room is that we can integrate the space as much as possible. We decided with the intervention, on the other hand, to make the house as light as light as possible, illuminated as possible. And naturally, then we uh, created this transition between the old part of the house and the new part, which is uh, um, and the new part. Open space, and that is obviously a recreational space, a space where they can spend here, well now, all the hours of the day. And while this is just the transition space between this old building and this completely new building. In the new building, we decided to use the least amount of, uh, of materials. The concept is really very simple. Uh, it's just sidewalls, the roof, the roof, and a mezzanine, and a mezzanine that generates the two levels and allows there's, 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 It's very good. I love the contrast of the gray with the black. In this case... So by opening this up, it transforms the space completely. And this kitchen really becomes part of the whole outdoor space. Lot. And with this double height, the house feels much more spacious than it really is. As you can see, actually, the finishes on walls and ceilings are exactly the same, which is simply a burnish. Or polished gray cement that makes it, at the same time, a wall of soffit and only in the floors. We use a different material, which is always polished cement, but this is a white polished cement. The furniture, the island, everything is the same finish that is the same polished cement. And then only a few, only a few felt is only for function as this piece of granite inserted in this sculptural piece that serves the work area. Uh, the rest of the kitchen countertops, which is the same granite and only one element to highlight in the kitchen. To add a little color to this floor, which is the typical hydraulic mosaic top, pasta mosaic, they add that here, talking with ear talking. The clients, by agreeing with the customers, they selected the model that we have used to be the touch of color. In the kitchen, these dark shades look very elegant. Uh, yes, 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 yeah, yes, really, the, the intervention of the customers was very important when then. In, in the side colors. Even this element was originally the same. This blue element, we had originally left it just as burnished, but we well, uh, and wanted to incorporate a little bit more color, and we, well, and we played with difference, and we played with different color proposals. And finally, they opted for, they opted for this blue wall, which in a way is the element in the middle of the house that it divides from the private area to the public area, and that goes up to the roof. Look how interesting it is, how these small courtyards open up as well, that are not so noticeable. Yes, and it is important, especially for ventilation and natural lighting. Uh, it seems like nothing, but they do create this airflow, which also creates a kind of chimney so that the hot air can escape, although this patio is roofed, it has a glass roof. It's, it has a system that allows it to be ventilated, that is to say, this, say that's it's, um, it has louvers that uh, add hot air to really get out of the space. At the top? At, at the top. Ah, okay, 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 okay. This is really very, very good. It is also a balance of different textures, for example, platelets of this background texture. As we really wanted to preserve the essence of the old building, we incorporated this finish, which is a traditional finish in the colonial houses here in Yucatan which is called Pata de Gallo. Originally it was four stones or one stone, but here we play a little bit with the idea of these, uh, these, these life of these uh, As wings of these are only two stones found. Instead of putting the four stones, we only put two, and so they create this texture of the wall. It looks great. And this is a painted clay tile. Uh, no. It is the wall with the stucco, that is to say, the normal finish used in the old houses, and not only with the spoon, the mason scratches it 
creating this reticule and then inserts the two stones uh, and, Neos, and that only with the spoon, the mason scratches it, creating this red, red, this reticule, and then the two stones are inserted. And what species is this tree? Is a Jericho, I do not remember the name. It is specific, but is a Jericho, it gives a fruit. That here in the area is eaten as a can can, only it is a sweet. I do not know that I know cannot be eaten raw, but this little fruit is. There is this, the Jericho. Okay. And the root does not disturb the pool. No. In fact, we chose a tree that could not, that is, that, that does not lift and that does not grow much root. But that is a root that goes definitely to that is very, very deep. Perfect. Don't you make some kind of box to direct the root? Uh, no. In this case, only a small pool is left. Much of the soil in Yucatan is rock. So it's, 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 so, and this is necessary to somehow create a way for the roots to penetrate and to find water, right? Because if not, they would climb over the same stone. Yeah. yeah. Here, for example, this was an element that existed in the, in the house, was a blacksmith. Ha, ah, there's drill. The, the, the drill that was in the back part of the house, and we decided to keep it and create an element. So that's our essay, so witness what, what existed in the house and at the same time and that at the same time serves for the vine to grow you know yeah what is this the jasmine plant we always try to incorporate as much as possible all the senses so we we want this to really be aromatic at some point in time and that the space is flooded with the scent of jasmine the same the sound of water the textures we are always looking for the space to be experienced with all five senses i love that the pool is a bridge you have to cross The time of the waterproofing of the leaks is not complicated. No, it was actually done. Obviously, all the masonry of the pool and then these footprints were laid. Yes, definitely for some people who have already criticized this, that you can't take tequilas or beers because you all uh, yeah. are going to fall into us. Well, there is something for here is, there's something for everyone, right? In the end, these places are exactly. Someone said, "Well, yes, it is certainly not a place that has easy universal access." But well, I think that each client also has its priorities, and finally, we do the drive for the clients. So in this case, it works. Ah, great. How tall are we here? More than three meters, right? The, the double height? In the double height, you were telling me that. It is six meters. Six? Uh, well, we have 2.9 meters in the mezzanines. The mezzanine slab is, is about 25 centimeters high. And then there are the, uh, the double heights. Comment it to me. No, comment it to me. Here, instead of, in, instead of using aluminum gates, which is much more common, that is much easier because of that. Because of the idea that the space could be integrated as much as possible, we did purely blacksmith, cloth as blacksmith, blacksmith. In other words, all this is blacksmithing that is tailor-made, custom-made for the house. Because otherwise, it would have had to be the sliding doors, which would have left the, left the, the point without it opening completely. Uh, fully open. Instead, instead, all three doors can be folded down you can open this door and the whole space is, is, is integrated. And in the window above, the same thing happens again. It stays at the height of the railing and the top window can also be opened completely to feel that the interior space, to feel that the, the interior and exterior space are fully integrated. All the space. Blacksmith. Shop. Which do you prefer to use? Blacksmithing? Well, look. Actually, the most practical is aluminum because it has a better seal. That's definitely for aesthetic reasons as well. Sometimes we prefer blacksmithing because the profiles can be much smaller. Because the profiles can be much smaller. It can be, for example, this partition is only one inch. If it were aluminum, we would be talking at least an inch and a half to two inches. inches. So many times for aesthetics, we do go for blacksmithing but knowing that i mean in the back we use aluminum for the doors because it is more it seals have 
and everything. Okay. Uh, here, since we are protected from the rain, there was no drama to use wax and everything. Ah, oh. This is a place where you really feel protected by the architecture itself. The height of six meters gives you a scale of great amplitude, but at the same time, the three meter slab, I imagine. Right. On this face, yes, it's the R300 in the 60 in length. Aha. Uh -huh. right. 360 in length. Okay. So since it's pretty big too, that slab, you feel like the house extends out into the yard. Of course, it is a sensation. There's a very, very nice feeling. And then you have the tree. You have the combination of the stone, the pool, the blue wall, the bench, the planter that completes it. So there are many elements, right? There are many elements that are in the composition of this patio. Yes, and above all that, it really is a small space, but we did want to incorporate vegetation to incorporate one of thought. So we had to play with elements that looked very sculptural, but that, that, and stuff, and that, that were parts uh, with the composition. Even the planter is made of metal to have enough soil for the plants, for the plants. So we wanted the elements to be as minimal as possible and to be a, a, a whole, and that they were a, a whole set. Okay. I mean, it's full of details. And if you look at, for example, this, the, the combination of materials, this part of the bench is wood, right? But then you have the material, you have the stone, but then the wood rests on a rock that I imagine is part of the floor itself. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there, what we did not want was to continue with the stone because it was going to, feel, it was going to feel heavy. You know. It would feel too heavy, so we put a, a lighter element, but somehow we linked it to the stone base here. And then we put a stone which was here on the ground, which we used as a base. And, and that we used as a base, and, and in fact, there, under that bench is the machine room. There's the machine room of the swimming pool. There are filters. There they are. Now, well, that's well, it's going to be listed as like a bed. Well, but here's the machine room. Okay, well, it did have hinges. Okay, that's great. Oh, sorry. In other words, try to use as little space as possible. Uh, uh, possible. Yes, yeah, so as I say, with such a small space space to get the most out of it, as much out as possible, everything. Excellent. I didn't imagine that. Because in the end, they don't bury it, do they? That's, that is to say, it remains above ground, of course. So let's get to know the rooms. We have two rooms, right? Two rooms that are practically the same, one above the other, with exactly the same design. Go ahead. And this is, for example, the tree we were talking about. It is a, a Tabasco pepper tree, and obviously we tried to preserve it. We tried to conserve it, and now again it is being recovered. Uh, and well, it also allows the, the rooms to have an outdoor area, to, to have an outdoor area, an outdoor area that they have a, a space to breathe, to ventilate, to illuminate. How soft the light is, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I mean. Also here, the height of these walls that repeats the double height because they are very intimate. This space very cozy. What is the orientation of this patio? This courtyard is to the south. That is, the facade of the house faces north, and this courtyard is south. Of course, that is also why the house has that softer atmosphere because actually the big terrace is facing north. Of course, yes, that. Since you also have the terrace overhang. Of course. Uh, even softer light. Yes, here we have nine months where the sun is more charged towards the south, and three months where there's this. Sun is the only period where the sun is more north facing. So that terrace always has good light and it's, on, it's not sunny. The sun is only a third, a quarter of the land. No. How's it here? Very good. And you have a source here too, right? Yes, there's a little fountain there too. Look, Sedan, young people. And what is this fountain made of? Is it a carved stone? It, yes, it, it is a drinking fountain. I always love the stone as well. Ground stone on the ground. 
as it makes that noise when you step on it. Super relaxing. And this tree was already there. Yes, that is uh, the pepper tree uh, I was talking about. The, the, the Tabasco pepper tree, which is in the area, has seen it. But it is not so common. You know? and obviously, we wanted to preserve it. It is very good. It is in between the two properties. It, yes, in fact, that is why when we raise the wall, we leave the, uh, the space so that trees so that, you know, can move with the wind and not affect the construction. I also love how it balances the gray walls with the white floor. The white floor and upstairs also contrasts very well because very well because of the very the floors are made of bamboo and it also makes a very interesting contrast. And here really the same. The customers, the truth is that they have taken uh, incredible care in selecting the art. I mean the houses, the house is full of art pieces, this the detail that they put on the bed. It was to me I loved it. I had to put the lamp on to get the effect on, uh, to make the effect, is, is the moon. It is the phases of the moon then. It is at the center of the full moon, the full moon, and the moon, it is true. And it is, is it is true, it is moon. Uh, and how do they do it, Estella? Yes, Donna, did they? Yes, Estella? Yes, yes it is fabric, it is the fabric that has a top. And then the important thing is the protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Here, the ventilation that is, this can be opened to let the air flow. And both rooms have their own bathroom closet and are practically identical. We continue with exactly the same with the same finishes. Only the shower area has a non skid floor, it has a non skid floor. But everything else is exactly the same floor. And the closets, because the design so that they can be ventilated, this wooden grid. In the closets. Ribbon, right? No, it is wood. No, it is wood. It is solid. Yes, solid wood. They have one inch, two inches. Is one inch. No wonder she looks so good. Which mother is she? This uh, dot, dot, well, and here you have the door, this one, to give privacy to the toilet area and to the toilet. Yes. Sliding. That's a great closet example, I think, for this area, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. No, ventilation is, I mean, definitely, I mean, definitely. We do need to have air circulation. Let's see, I do not know the years. Okay. It reminds me of the one in Casa Desnuda, the mirror. You remember the one in Casa Desnuda, don't you? The mirror, yes. And the two little windows. The two windows, yes, yes. The space and that it can be ventilated space as much as possible, and that it can be ventilated. Then it begins to open, and the air flows. In this case, we did not do it at home naked. Here we put double mirror. Ah, I saw it here. That is, out here, it, it also has a mirror to reflect the stone and, and reflect. How is it there, in Casa Desnuda? You see, the mirror is not in the gate, but it is a mirror that is hanging. All right, right. The mirror is not. I love that there is no door between the bedroom and the sink area. And this space is wide, notice. The toilet area measures 123 wide, i.e. the shower head measures 1.23 or 105. It looks super comfortable. I love the step you saw it. Approach it with confidence. There is a very nice detail in that Kanspo, longitudinal. What kind of tiles is it? Because it tells it is not so, is it? But we wanted it to, to be as close as possible to the cement floor. And why did you change? Because it is more practical. For safety, I mean, actually using this in the shower would be a bit risky. I mean, it's, it's slippery. So, yes, we put something a anti slip. Slip grade. This bathroom is very nice. I like the feeling of bloom that the house has in this part. The real ones do it. The is a metal fitting that allows it to run. Perfect. This house is a bigger budget than others we have seen, right? 
It's a little bit the song. No, what happens is that it, it's very small, so you, you appreciate the detail if you notice, if you realize that carpentry does not have carpentry. We are simply talking about doors in the closet in the kitchen, but no, what happens is that as it is so small, it is very present. And, then, and I say, and I say, and I say, so we are fortunate to have excellent carpenters. It looks very good quality, Mario Noel. Our carpenters who are wonderful, thank uh, you. Yeah, it looks very good quality. I mean, greetings to them, who really are young people. And here some of the furniture was laid. There's a design house here called Gaza Clavel that made the beds. Uh, and the other furniture, this furniture is from the 60s from a gallery called Casa Mo, which has exactly the, the furniture that the owners like. It's, it's really mid-century design, mid-century, but Mexican. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Clara styled, I see as well. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, that door, and of course, because they are all. And that door, that door is older, isn't it? This door is an antique door, yes? This door is an old door. In fact, this is an old door that we rescued. And that we, we rescued maybe two concrete, two new. A concrete, two new. So we put here this detail of the old door. This piece of furniture was also made by you. This piece of furniture too, yes. Uh, concrete, too new. This piece of furniture was also made by you. This piece of furniture too, yes. It has the same kind of work. Room measures. 444. For 370. Very good size. Interesting in the end. Here the bed is oriented towards the wall because they would not have a full view of the courtyard because I see that they really like the bed to point to the courtyard. Oh, of course. Yes, only here, really. I mean, there were no, now there were no walls to support us, right? Walls to uh, support us, right? And definitely, I wouldn't even think about supporting it here because it does take away the feeling. Well, spaciousness of the room, right? I mean, seeing the bed from the front, it does make you feel more spacious. If it were here, it would feel like a bit of a hindrance, wouldn't it? That you have to turn it, go around the bed, bed to two. Of course. And the design of this mosaic was thought of in the... Yes, if in fact, yes, from the beginning. They defined that we were going to use uh, his. So we did the, the design, I mean, they, they, they fell in. So we really want a very elaborate, a very elaborate detail, detail floor. But they wanted something just to frame the bed area. And yes, it's solid colored pasta mosaic that was cut just to create this small, just, uh, in set off, not very stairs. Mm -hmm. Let's get to know the top floor because I've already seen that the stairs always have something. In fact, this is a curious case because really to have as much space as possible, the first flight of the stairs is made in concrete. That is, this is in concrete, but the space below is also used for machines. So we just put these glass screens so they can still be perceived as lighter. And the top part is all metal. Even the wall it continues is really a metal wall. This wall in here is 10 centimeters. Here it is, 10 centimeters. But it is 10 centimeters here is a wall that is only a metal drum. Ah, okay. And then it becomes more the thinner the wall. Interesting. This finish is very good. If you come from this side and look towards the stairs, you will see how the light goes down and the color of the walls changes. They make a design. Play a little with the white tones. Then the light softens a lot there. The courtyard, open top. There are plants and the railing is and there is subtle. The railing I have in that lamp. It's like a mixture there, isn't it? Of ears. It is in the same line as the pendants of the the rooms and this is the other room which is exactly the same dimensions as below only I say, only I say with, with the view towards the lighting cube. Lighting ventilation cube, but 
here we use bamboo floor, but we're already here on already in, in all the upper floor. We use bamboo flooring. How the feeling changes? Does does not see it? It's yes, the sides here. The light is much more. I mean, it is more open here, and the rooms feel very uh, different. It is a great interior design job as well. Did you do the interior design for this project? No, we really helped part of the selection, but the art was the owners. The owners, yes. What a war and says the work won. Uh, several. We won the New Contech and uh, Biennial category. We won the Ferenzo. Uh, we have. We were nominated for Miss Crown Hall. What's this one? It was nominated. Is is this? It's just been. This project has gained many things. What year is it from? It's from last year. Uh, no, in fact, we ended it at the beginning of the pandemic. Okay. 2020? 2020. 2020. And the bathroom has the same structure. This piece is repeated. Yes, exactly the same. It is, it is exactly the same theme, everything. Here we just changed the floor. I mean, it's the same color as downstairs only. It is uh, pasta mosaic because what we have seen is that, that when we have used the polished floor upstairs due to the movement, it cracks a lot because of the crack a lot due to the contractions and all this, if it cracks. So here we decided to use the same color. We decided to use the same color, but with a paste floor that looks very good. Very nice. I think it is the color that I would also use in, would use in the mosaics. Yes, 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 yes. It is polished and shiny. And you can do that all the time, right? That's one of the benefits of mosaic. Yeah, actually, what we've seen with the pasta floor is that maybe we, when it's a new floor, it loses its, um, it loses it. And after about a year, six months. But once you polish it again, it practically maintains its polish. It practically maintains its polish. Maintains its polish as if the mosaic is already dry and the shine is maintained. And the shine is maintained. And to the top. It is a very good scheme. I really like it. The floor plan looks great. These two bars, laundry and closet. And, and here on the top floor is only this room and the study, the uh, asset study, all the possibility of the furniture and everything was designed so that you can make an extra bedroom. Extra bedroom, not obviously, it's using some of the bathrooms of the rooms. Oh well. There, there's a sofa bed, and yeah, here there is a sofa bed, a small studio, and that can also be opened completely. So this can be done, this can be done just like downstairs, integrating the outside space to the interior. Of course, this would be the third chamber. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, I mean, here really, I mean, with the curtains, you give the privacy to the outside and therefore could function as a third chamber if necessary. Very nice. It looked very good. And then I say, the idea was also is so limited the dimensions of the land that we think you will also use the roof. That is why the staircase continues, because upstairs there is a terrace, a lookout point. What's going on here? Uh, as I say, obviously, because of the same rain problem we did then. Uh, interior. So here we made a tray that collects the rainwater and it is connected to downspouts then so, so that the, the water does not fit into it. 
No, no, of course, because otherwise they would have had to leave a small C spool, a rare thing, right? Good solution there. There is the Carnitas, young people. Great. The ladder is metal right here. Originally, there was a beautiful tree here uh, that created a shadow, but uh, since it grew next door, the tree was eliminated. Uh, or my third son alive. Wow. So, 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 very well. You have a very good panoramic view. Yeah, yeah. Hi, young people, and here we are going to teach them what we call a dome, which is not a dome, but it's the... Uh, yes, this is just what we were saying, the skylight and these uber vents allow the hot air to go up in, and it does have a place to go out and not. And why did they decide to close it? Because it could also have been left open, couldn't it? Yes, but really for practical reasons. What? I mean, the rain, sometimes, sometimes there's a very, very heavy rain and the space is too small, and the, the space is too small to absorb the water quickly. So we say it was better. Uh, for protection, for protection, yes. So we decided it was better. Agreed. This is a very good piece of information. And at the end, it ventilates on all four sides. Yes, it has a mosquito net to keep bugs out. Where is the mosquito net? The whole leaf. Not everything is visible. Excellent. Well, architect, thank you very much for sharing with us masterpiece, the nest. And you. Thank you, thank you for coming. I, I hope you enjoy it. Please share us on your social networks. Tala Estilo Architectura on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Arco Cruz, my personal Instagram. My pleasure, young people. Go give some love to Talers de Arquitectura and the architect vector. We leave you with these beautiful skies. How beautiful are the skies of Merida. Yes, they are crazy. Sharing and liking will be eternally appreciated. No to Paris, go ahead. Ah, what a nice view from up here. Notice that tree, I feel like I didn't know it. That leaf is very special. Yes, in fact, it is super rough. Yes, in fact, it is super rough. The same leaf is used to peel the fruit to remove the cap off.